let's get it. All right, I'm gonna come right out and say it. I was watching a video earlier today from another content creator, and this content creator had the temerity to go in and try to blame Janelle for what happened to her son. And from that point, I say, leave Janelle the F alone. Leave her alone. It's not your place. You don't know this woman. Stop going in and trying to figure out in your little mind, in your little world, what's going on in her world. You don't know her. None of us do. We don't sit here. I watch a TV show. Okay, I watch a TV show. I maybe read a couple articles, watch a few videos, but I don't know this woman. I don't know this family personally. And frankly, it's insulting that when you deal with the real life uh, events that happen in these people's lives, this isn't entertainment anymore. The minute that that young man took his own situation, canceled his subscription to life, the minute he did that, this stopped being something we're just commentating on, something that we're seeing on TV that could be played up for the cameras, something that could be scripted, events that could be uh, put together for our entertainment. This is real life. This woman suffered a terrible loss that nobody should be trying to uh, pick apart with little articles here and there and trying to figure out and tell her what she's feeling, why she's feeling it, why she didn't call the cops, why she didn't go over to the house when she thought something was going on with her son. How come she didn't know that there was a problem with her son? You don't know this woman. For one, for two, obviously, if you've ever talked to somebody, who has any type of issue or a friend or, or somebody you've known even uh, orbitally, orbitally or, or, or in a satellite position where they're just kind of around. If you talk to somebody who is even kind of going through a situation like this where they're dealing with substance abuse issue, they're dealing with uh, problems or depression or whatever the case may be, especially with regard to their child, they're trying to figure it out. Not everybody picks up the phone and says, hey, 911, why don't you come 302 or or put my kid in a involuntary um, uh, committal? Not everybody does that because a lot of times when you're in these situations, you're hoping for the best and you're trying to navigate these situations the best way you know how. The problem is there is no book. There's no, no guideline. There's no instruction manual that we get, even as parents, that tell us how to deal with these types of situations. I thank God every day that I don't have to deal with this problem. But not every parent out there has that ability to say that. And I have to be mindful of the fact that there are people out there who are going through this. And we, even as content creators, I understand it. I get the grind. You want to come up with interesting, compelling content to try to draw people in, draw people's attention so that you can get views. I understand it. I'm, I get it. I get it. But what I can't stand by is one of the things that I said early on and part of the reason why I took a break from Sister Wives was the whole idea that not all money is good money. You get to a point where some of this money starts to be blood money. And that's money that I can't be involved with. That's stuff I can't co-sign. I can't get behind you when you're sitting here so worried and so pressed about criticizing this woman and her faith and calling it a cult and saying that, oh, this is a, this is a religion and because of the way they grew up. Janelle didn't grow up in the, in the AUB. Let's get it point blank stop right there. She didn't grow up in the AUB. Her kids, she had home births, but she had no problem with going to the hospital. Cody's name appears on all her kids' <laughs> birth certificates. You know why? Because she doesn't do the whole AUB because that's not how she grew up. She didn't go to the house. I understand why she didn't go to the house. Let me explain it to you. For those who don't understand why Janelle, when she thought something might have happened to her son, she didn't run over to the house. One, when you think that something has happened at the house, one of the things that you may do, even as a son, as a son, it's my understanding that Logan had asked his brother Gabriel to go over to the house to check on his other brother. That's my understanding. As a son, I understand where Logan was at. Some things you don't want the mom to see. If something did happen and he's not answering the phone because he fell asleep, he passed out or whatever the case may be, that's one thing. You go over there, you give a call to the mom and say, hey, mom, guess what? He's fine. He just slept through it. He missed the phone. The phone was dead or was downstairs. He was upstairs, whatever the case may be. But in worst case scenario, if there is something terrible going on in the house, mom doesn't need to see that. 
Not so she can appeal to to make other viewers and people who watch the show feel better because now she's involved. She didn't have to see that. I wish to I wish to goodness that Gabe didn't see it. So it's so ridiculous to me that people are sitting here trying to point fingers at her. This woman who's going through something that hopefully, I mean, I pray that nobody ever experiences this. I pray I never experience it. I've seen the power and the damage that this kind of thing can cause in a family. And I'm telling you that what she's going through, she has enough on her plate. She's asking questions to herself. She's blaming herself. She's mad at herself. She's mad at, at, uh, at, at, her, at her ex. She's mad at the family. She's mad at everybody. She's mad at the world. She's mad, probably going to be mad because I'm even commenting on it. But somebody's got to say it. We, look, look, I have no problem. I'm not normally... I just let, let people live their life and do what you got to do. But so if there comes a point where somebody's got to stand up and say something, leave this damn woman alone. I understand that she is sitting there and she has a lot on her plate and she's going through a lot of things. Leave her alone. There's enough for us to be able to talk about with regard to Sister Wise without having to drag her and her son into everything conversation that you have. I understand it gets a lot of clicks and a lot of views, but we don't have to keep dragging them in. Come on, people. Let's be better. Let's do better. This is ridiculous. Now, I'm sorry I'm going off, and I'm sorry it's coming off angry, but I mean, I got to come in hot because it's ridiculous. I've seen people sit here and blame this woman on what happened. Like, she, like she's the master of the universe. She can change people's minds. You guys are no better than the people that you criticize. How about that? You want to sit here and criticize all oh, the, the religion and the faith. They're so misogynistic and they try to put everything on the women. And they try to make the women feel bad. They treat them like they're second class citizens. Like the only thing they're good for is taking care of children. And then the first thing you do when a tragedy happens is you look at the mama. There's a lot of things that could have been going on. I don't know him. I don't know what's going on. There's a lot of stuff that you could point to because I've seen it on the show and I can say, hey, this is the stuff I'm aware of, but that may not be the reason. You know why? Because I don't know. And I dare to say this, you don't know either. Leave this woman alone. That's my take. I'm James. This is my take on reality. If you have a question or a comment, hit me up in the questions. My take on reality questions at gmail.com. I don't care. And if you're a content creator, you want to have that debate or discussion, come call me, talk to me. We can do this online, offline, whatever. But like I said, leave that woman alone. Let her sit there and deal with her stuff the way she needs to deal with it. This is not the time to be sitting there trying to rub it in on what or decisions she made and who she was with and what she chose to do with her life. Let her live her life. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. I thought it was over, but it's not over. Here's the thing. And one of the, the toughest parts of her being a mother of multiple children, she not only has to manage her grief and her loss, but she has to be there and be strong for her kids and the people around her who are relying on her, who lost siblings, who lost the sibling. She has to be there for them. She has to be strong for them. She got to be strong for everybody else. And nobody's giving her a dang on break. Give her a break. Back up off of her. Leave her alone. If you want to criticize somebody, criticize me. Come for me. And we can have the conversation. But as far as she goes, leave her alone. And on that note, I'm out.